Yo guys, welcome back to your brand new PDC Joe Chili Rain video. Today, guys, we're taking a look at the evil Vikavolt. Vikavolt V is starting to actually catch some wind right now. There's a lot of people trying out Vikavolt V on online right now because the fact that it is now playable with the brand new Inteleon, which kind of helps it with its damage output a little bit. So the idea of Vikavolt is paralyzing bolt is what we're focusing on. Doing 50 damage for two energy, and then during your opponent's next turn, they cannot play any item card. So they are item locked, meaning they can't play quick ball. Level ball, air balloon, switch, stuff like that. So that's really big. Now, we only do 50 damage. Now, before Vega Volt was pretty trash, there wasn't really a good way to play it. However, now that we have the brand new Inteleon, we can actually add 20 damage a turn to increase our damage output a little bit, which is huge. And we got the Drizzile and the other Inteleon with Shady Dealings, which is also good to help us set up. Um, now, I have seen a lot of Vega Volt lists online, and this is the list that I have come up with for the deck. Um... I actually got this idea when I, pl I played against a Kragonal deck a while back, and I actually got the idea for the deck. Um, I was like, well, why not try Vikavolt instead of Kragonal? Because we're not um, doing 10 damage a turn. Um, so I'm going to be playing stuff like Yellhorn, Galarmine, and Koga's Trap in the deck. Try to confuse the opponent while we item lock them. They can't play Switch. That's the idea of the deck. So for the video, of course, shout out to the sponsor, Card Cabin TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking to get any PDCGO pack codes, get them over at Card Cabin. Card Cabin sells codes online for the cheapest. So if you guys want to pick up any set codes like Chilling Rain, Battle Styles, Shining Fates, Unified Minds, Unbroken Bonds, whatever set codes you're looking for. Or if you're looking for any promo codes, like any GX codes or V codes, pre-release kit codes, sleeve ETB codes, get them all over at Car Cabin. If you get any codes over at Car Cabin, of course, guys, at the checkout, use my discount code, code LDF for a 5% discount on your purchase. Help the channel, help yourself out, and up our Car Cabin. So shout out Car Cabin, check them out, use code LDF. Also, if you want to check out the video articles I've been posting, it'd be greatly appreciated. Give them a watch. So let's look at my list. This is the list I've come up with for my Vigable V deck. I do think the deck is pretty cool. One of the nice things about it is it can prey on the uh, single prize decks right now. Obviously, there's a lot of single prize decks like Rapid Strike, Malamar. Even Decidueye is beatable if you can item lock them quick enough. Um, yeah, the Inteleon makes this deck a lot stronger. Quick shooting is great. Again, one of the issues with Vigavolt is it only did 50 damage. This card came out, got a lot of hype. People were like, oh, this card is the most insane card ever. And then it completely flopped. However, now that we have Inteleon in the format, not looking too bad. Um, because then you get the Drizzle engine, which is huge too to get an item card. Um, so this is what I'm playing here. Mew, Coco. I am playing one Snorlax. Uh, just as a nice setup card. I mean, we have so many switching cards. I mean, we got four Bird Keeper, two Nets, right? It's pretty easy to get the Snorlax out of the active. So Gourmand Dives to set up is really good. That's why I'm playing one copy of Snorlax in the deck. There's not really any other Pokemon I would really play. Like, I guess Absol's pretty decent in this deck too, if you want to play that. But Bench Space is already kind of clunked up. Um, a lot of the time you need two Vikavolts in play. I mean, you probably at least want three uh sobble drizzle and talions in play right you want to have three in play right you want maybe two in play for the quick shooting and then maybe have the shady dealings in play there's not enough room for your bench so i didn't want to play an absol in the deck that is something you can consider um so you just kind of paralyzing bolt them and then when you're ready you can come in with a big super zap cannon and take a big ko doing 190 damage so that can also be how you take ko's a lot of the time you just want to keep the paralyzing bolt active so they can't play rope or switch or anything to get out of the item lock and confusion um, but you do have the option to go Super Zap Cannon to take, like, a big one-shot if you really want to. Um, I mean, I'm playing Koga's Trap, Yellhorn. Yellhorn is a little bit riskier. I was originally playing four Yellhorn, but Koga's Trap's just better because you can also poison them, so you get extra damage in play. But Yellhorn is okay. Um, the problem is you confuse both actives, so you actually have to play a Bird Keeper. But you can't do Bird Keeper if a Galar Mine is in play with the Yellhorn, so it kind of actually makes things a little complicated. It's like, if you were to, like... Bird Keeper to, to an Inteleon, and then there's a Gallarmine already in play. You Yellhorn the Inteleon to confuse, and then you try to retreat back into Vika Volt. You can't do it because the Gallarmine's in play, so, unless you scoop up net, of course. But, yeah, that's why I'm playing Koga Trap. But Yellhorn is still amazing as an item because a lot of the time you still want to play a supporter card. I am playing three Marnie because Marnie item lock is very good. When you give him four cards and you item lock him, it's pretty devastating. Um, I also got a stamp to go with that. This deck was a little tight on space. I have to play Weakness Guard. I wish this deck didn't have to play Weakness Guard, but unfortunately, Urshifu is very, very popular, and you kind of need Weakness Guard. The mat Urshifu is a really hard matchup because of Gale Thrust being able to one-shot you without the Weakness Guard on. Um, they might also play Tower of Water, so that makes the matchup even harder, um, but the Weakness Guard does help us a bit in that matchup. Four speeds, four basic lightning to round out the list. Um, two capes. I want to play more capes. Again, just a tight on space deck because there's so many things you have to play. There's just wasn't enough room for everything I wanted to play. Uh, this is what I came up with for my Vigavolt list. It's an evil, evil deck. Let's go try it out. All right, here we go. Vigavolt time, baby. All right, we've lost the coin flip. We probably just want to avoid Urshifu. I think that's like our worst matchup. Uh, we get a Coco Prism Star. Not very good. 
Not a great hand. We got no energy, no Sobble. We'll see what we're playing against. An Urshifu deck, of course. Probably Urshifu. The set, <laughs> that's why I said I don't want to play against. They probably play Tower of Water. Tower of Water is really bad for this deck. This deck struggles against Tower of Water. This could be a Malamar deck, though. If it's Malamar, it's a bit easier. It might actually just be Malamar. Yeah, it is Malamar. Uh, still no energy, though, which is kind of annoying. We did draw the, uh... We did draw the vehicle. That's not bad. Not getting the energy, though, does sting quite a bit, not gonna lie. Would have been nice to get the energy here. Um... Get that on. Could we just pass? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, no energy. A little unfortunate. Um... Definitely wanted to go with a Paralyzing Bolt. That's how we beat this matchup, is Paralyzing Bolt, so... Whipping an energy turn one... Pretty annoying. So, we'll see what happens. However, I do think item lock completely bodies my opponent here for sure. I think item lock should win us the game. But uh not when like if we if we could kill the ZK next turn, bro, it would have been insane. I mean, I don't think we can pull off the item lock. It's just not possible. But maybe. Well, we can Marnie them here. We can Marnie. That's the nice thing about Vigavolt. A lot of these one prize decks like this, they play a lot of items and then Vigavolt completely shuts them out of the game. Okay, so let's get Drizzile. I don't think there's a... Unless I drew an energy there, there's no way I can really get there. We had all 10 in the deck. We just couldn't find it. I think what we're going to do... I'm going to level ball for another Sobble. I'm going to net the Coco. Balloon. I don't think they play a switching card, so we can trap or Cory at some point. That's something I thought of. We'll keep the Coco in the deck. Okay, well, maybe I should have benched it. Because actually there's a chance we get a Marnie into a thing. Okay, we don't. Well, maybe. Yo, if I kept the Coco, we actually might have been able to pull off an attack here. If I get a Quick Ball. Okay, no, I was going to say. That would have been would have been sus. We have to go into something. Well, it's so unlikely Vigavolt gets KO'd here. I think we just feed him Vigavolt. Because there's no way they're going to one-shot it, right? Especially with a four-card hand. And there's no other Pokemon established yet. So there's no way they're going to one-shot me here. So we can actually go into Vikavolt and then Koga and then paralyze them next turn. That'll be the play. Yeah, yeah. Well, Koga and then start paralyzing, bolting them. That'll be the play. That seems fine. Again, they might play Tower of Water, so things get awkward. Oh, they get a Lucky Egg on. No, dude. Well, oh no, they actually won't. They get knocked out by Poison. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, we have Inteleon too. Okay, hold on. It's not that bad. That's not that bad. Okay, never mind. that lucky egg. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Nice. That was a good top deck. All right, it's Evo Incense for another Drizzle. Energy on this. Yeah, I think we're definitely Koga in here for sure. Uh, what do I even want with this? Decisions, decision. Another level ball. Get another Sobble. Doesn't seem bad. Yeah, get another Sobble. I'm fine with that. Let's keep getting Sobbles in play. We get like if, if we get three Italians set up, they literally can't have an in-game play because we'll just one shot it with three with three snipes. Busted. Okay. Okay, we should don't we don't need the Koga, but we do want to play it so they well with a two card hand, there's no way they're gonna kill Vikavolt, right? So we don't actually have to play the Koga. We can actually just bird keeper here and then do Koga next turn. Or don't no, save the Koga. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We can just bird keeper, it's fine. Or we can just yell horn too. I mean that works too. Yeah, we'll just play the yell horn. Just make it even harder for them. Because we can go quick shooting. Or maybe we do have to activate the Lucky Egg, actually. Shoot. Yeah, maybe we do have to activate it. Well, Koga, yeah, I guess it wouldn't have mattered. Yeah, we actually do have to activate Lucky Egg. I don't think there's a way around that. No, maybe there was. I guess... I guess I fumbled that. Hmm. Yo, you know what? We actually played Koga there. We could have KO'd them potentially with just an Inteleon snipe. Okay, that works too. They just hit themselves in confusion. Okay, that just played out perfectly in my favor. Okay, then. That works too. All right, we'll knock it out first before we do anything else. The Lucky Egg will not activate. because They weren't knocked out by damage from an attack. Okay, that worked out. I was like, oh, we. I think I misplayed pretty bad. And they conceded. Yeah, I would have conceded too. They pretty much just couldn't do anything. They couldn't play Oracorio. We item lock and we had Galarmine, Koga's Trap. So that's why Vigable is evil. These one prize decks, Vigable can prey on pretty easily. All right, uh, we've won the coin flip. We will go first, because we do want to go first this deck. All right, we can... We, I'm going seconds possible to get a turn one Vigavolt off. That's, like, super unlikely. I think we always just go first here. Yeah, we always just go first. Okay. 
they're playing against. Um, I gotta sneeze. Achoo. Okay, we got a Sobble start. No other way. Ah, uh, we didn't get a Vika Volt. We have an energy. We need to get a Vika Volt here. Hopefully, we can draw into a Vika Volt out. You yeah, actually hate to see it. You yeah, hate to see it. Uh, I don't even know if I should have attached. We're playing against a Luke Metal deck. No, we're playing against ADP. Yeah, that stings even more that I didn't get a Vega Volt because we need to item lock them. They bench both ADPs for some reason. And, yep, they just have the piece of water. No, no, no digging for it. Just have it. Yes. Great. I mean, we can still pull off a Vega Volt. It's so unlikely, but, like, we can retreat. I don't know. I don't even know. Not looking good. Okay, hold on, hold on. We might have, okay, maybe we can get it. Let's quick ball for Vega Bolt. No, we need another basic though. I actually don't think it is possible. We'd have to have like a switch scuba net combo. Honestly, I think we just get Yellhorn here. Yellhorn Marnie. I know we're not going to get the item lock off this turn, but we can make him dig for a switch. I mean, Marnie to four. Maybe we will draw into a Vega Bolt. I doubt it though. No, yeah. <laughs> we could have. No, no, no. There's no chance. It's all good. We can get another little Sobble Boy. Oh, we could go Snorlax. Yeah, Snorlax seems better. I, I want to get us. A, a second Sobble would have been really good, though, too. But, I mean, I think we just go Snorlax here and just guarantee. Because we get Sobble, we can try to Bird Keeper to energy. Which, yeah, see, we wouldn't get the energy. So it was worth it to go Snorlax. We didn't even get energy off that Snorlax. But we can Bird Keeper and try to get the energy. We'll see if they can switch here. They are down one switch. If they do... I mean, they could also flip for confusion and still get a lucky heads and then get the alter creation, which would suck. They're going to spread the energy out. Okay, that's fine. I'd rather them waste that now, actually, which is pretty good. Oh, the swell. No. Not the swell. Now we don't have Galar Mine, and they have another Mallow and Lana. That should be their last one. Huh. Okay, then. Spell's bad. Okay, they're actually just gonna go for the 30 damage buff on the alteration. Alright, I'll take it. There's the energy. Let's play it. Got Yellhorn back, which is hype. Got a bird keeper first. We got Sobble. Yellhorn again, obviously. Play the Inteleon. Start picking off this ADP. We can actually maybe hit this other one too. I don't know. Um, retreat into Viki Volt. Football for. Honestly, I might scoop up Ned the Inteleon. I want to get another Sobble down, but I don't know what to quick ball away. Every card is pretty relevant here. I might scoop up Ned this guy next turn and then go for the Drizzile. Yeah, I'm going to hold in the hand and just Paralyzing Bolt. That's fine. We'll hit him for a whopping 50 damage. Now, they did get the AC off, which means they can one-shot Vika Volvization with the cape on. So that sucks a little bit. But they don't get the extra prize. Okay, they mount Lana. Fine. They fully heal. Now they're in complete top deck mode. So, and they're item locked, so be my guest. Oh, they haven't tripped sword. I forgot. Ah, I forgot about that. Never mind. There's Galar Mine. Okay. I want to go Koga this turn. I think we just go hit Koga. We can't let them do Ultimate Ray. But, I mean, they can just sit back. And do Intrepid Sword, which is really bad, too. I mean, this is going to be a hard one to win, not going to lie. This is going to be a hard game to win. We need another energy in play, too, soon. We need another energy soon. Koga's Trap. Paralyzing Bolt. I'll have to go Inteleon next turn. I don't know. Tempted to go with this guy. Might Marnie them. I don't know. I just really need... To, I, this guy's good, but I need to get more stuff set up before I can go any further with this. Okay, they can flip to attack here. They can't KO me, though, which is good. Oh, they got our research off of that, bro. Chill. They're still item locked. ADP does happen to play a ton of, ton of items. Told you. They actually don't even go for the attack. Okay, yeah, we definitely mining them here. They didn't hit any energy off the Intrepid Sword, which is good. That's what we like to see. Uh, we actually... Ooh, that was, a, that was an insane gut. That was a good top deck. Jeez, chill. So now we can just go do this. Uh, 
start spread out the damage. Actually, we should just probably set up the other ADP to be KO'd, because our game plan is to be double Super Zap Cannon. The level ball for Drizzile. Okay, we have one in the deck, just making sure. We have one last Marnie, all right, good. So here. Grab the Marnie. Maybe we can get a Gallarmide to stick, that'd be great too. We'll bench Vigavolt. I don't want to get rid of this last Quick Ball. I'm just going to Marnie. I don't want to get rid of the last Quick Ball. I wanted to get another Sobble there. But I, well, we don't even have another Giselle. But I didn't want to get rid of the... Uh, yeah, I didn't want to get rid of the Marnie there. I didn't want to get rid of, I didn't want to get rid of any card in that hand. So. I'm going to keep doing Paralyzing Bolt, I think. Yeah, I'm just going to keep doing Paralyzing Bolt for the time being. I'm not going to mention the Sobble because we don't have Giselle. So let's just hit them for 50. All right. Seems good. We can save Super Zap Cannon for a rainy day to one-shot this. We just gotta keep hoping they're still dead drawing. They play three basic waters. Okay, sure. We need to get a Galar Mine. Nice. That's what we like to see. We actually can KO them here, so that's good. Yeah, I think we just take a knockout. Double Inteleon. All right, we'll do this. Speed Energy. There's Cape. Might as well play it, sure. We drew Bird Keeper 2. I should have went, uh, oops, I should have went, uh, I should have caped the other guy. It doesn't really matter where I put the cape, to be honest. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Let's go here. Yeah, it doesn't matter where I put the cape. So we'll knock out the ADP here with, uh, Paralyzing Bolt. We hit him for 20. They have 70 HP. Okay, we have to hit him twice. That's fine. That's fine. I want to find, we don't need Gallarmine this turn. So, do this. Balloon's huge. Uh, we will, I'm going to bench another Sobble because we could get the Drizzle off the prizes. So we might as well bench it. Then we'll just go for the... Let's go for the Paralyzing Bolt. Yeah, just uh, knock out this ADP. And they're still item locked. They now can ultimate Ray me, though, which is the only issue. However, we can go back to Paralyzing them. We find Gallarmine, too. Oh, no Drizzle. Oh, my opponent can see. Let's go. We beat an ADP deck with evil. Beatable. All right, there we go. Yeah, I... ADP is beatable. It's not unbeatable. The fact is, as long as you can item lock them quick enough, like most of their deck is conformed of item cards. So, the item lock is pretty powerful against ADP, even though the matchup can be difficult. But once you start off Metal Saucers and stuff, it's not that bad. But Intrepid Sword is scary, too. I, the matchup is beatable, is what I'm trying to say. All right, here we go. All right, we win the coin flip. Okay, we're now... Okay, it looks like we're up against Ice Rider, Calyrex, VMAX, potentially, which is definitely a matchup that could be hard. Ah, uh, no Vega Volt in our hand, and no energy either, which is a little awkward. Double Sobble starts always good, though, with double Drizzile out. Not the worst hand ever, but... Uh... Loking. Hmm. Okay. That's fine. They might poison me. We have bird keepers, so eh, it's not too bad. We do the big vote. We have a no energy though, so eh, it's unfortunate. Love a ball for another Sobble. We did prize. We did prize two of our Inteleons. Okay. Not great. Coco's in the deck. Uh, we prized a Galar mine. We did prize one of our speed lightning energy. You okay. We got Koga, though. Koga's gonna be really nice against this. Okay. We'll put the cape on. I don't think they play Tool Scrapper. Well, no, they might. I They might actually play it, because if they're playing Slow King, Tool Scrapper's actually kind of good. Yeah, I... They could Marty me, and then I don't want the cape. The cape's gonna be really good. I don't know. We'll see. The poison damage, honestly, could be pretty relevant for my opponent. Makes a spam Bird Keeper. Yeah. Okay, we'll see how this goes. I am a little scared of the poison damage, to be honest. I don't know. There it is. That man should have saved the cape. <laughs> they just flat out had the tool scrapper in their hand. All right. Well, goodbye, cape. You served us well. Maybe they whip an energy this turn. That'd be good. Probably got to sacrifice the Trizal here. No, they have nothing. Ooh. I only drew that. Well, I mean, this could just be a research turn for me, which. I'm fine with. Let's just research. Yeah, let's just get a new hand. Fortunately, we don't play any way to get energy in the discard pile. So let's just get another Sobble. We've actually, maybe we could have went Quick Ball for Snorlax. We could get Scoob and Yeah, Snorlax would have been actually a bit better, maybe. Energy, there we go. Got Speed Lightning. Got Air Balloon, which is good. Um... I think we're gonna have to let our Drizzle die here. I don't wanna put an air balloon on it. So we're just gonna let it stay in the active. Well, not die, but stay in the active. Um, because I, I don't want to waste our bird keeper on my Drizzle here, because I'd rather save the bird keeper for the big bolt. 
I don't want to attack them, though, right away because they can evolve. want to wait because we want to go... What we want to do is we want to go Olga Paralyzing Bolt. So hopefully they evolve into the VMAX this turn, but they might just do their first attack on the Sloking V. If they go... Well, oh, maybe we could boss the Guru, actually. But we have no boss left in the deck, so I don't like that, actually. I don't know what the play is. If they evolve in the VMAX here, we can play the Koga's Trap. Yeah, they don't. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. They weren't going to evolve. That's that's unfortunate. We can't KO them either because they have 220 HP. And we can't pop off, so that sucks. All right, well. Let's go and tally on. Quick shooting in a couple times. I think we're just going to spread the energy out a little bit on our Beak Volts. We got Mew. Mew is a pretty good cannon fodder card here. Only a scuba net though. Nah, I think Mew's fine. I guess we could have went Psy Power. No, there's no real reason to go Psy Power though. We'll let him KO the Mew. I want to make sure they go Sloking V Max because they could just evolve out of the, the thing. There's no point of going with the V Volt here. Oh, wait. I guess we want to Marnie them too. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I want to wait till they go V Max before we start to Paralyzing Bolt, Confuse Lock them. So we'll chill out for a turn. Well, hmm, I want to draw, I want to go Marnie next turn. I want to, oh no, they had another boss. No, bro. Not like this. I thought, we have the Bird Keeper, so we can't Koga them. Well, I guess we can go Yellhorn Bird Keeper. That sucks. So they got the first hit. I was hoping they didn't have a second boss. That's a little, little unfortunate they did have another boss. I was also thinking about putting Malon in this deck uh, for the heals. Oh, they had a Dedenne too. No. They lose. Okay, nice. That's a huge discard. That's what we like to see get discarded. It's not Mallow and Lana. They also have not yet established any Toxic Croaks or anything. So, their damage is still good, but not great. The fact they got rid of that Mallow Lana there makes me a little feel a little bit better. So, it's not too bad, actually. They might play two Mallow Lanas, though, which is a little scary. But they have to find it. Like, they have to raw find it. Okay, so they do get a bit of poison damage. So, now this Vigavolt can get knocked out if it gets attacked again. But that's fine. We still have to make a three Vigavolt. Go attach. Quick shooting. Yell horn, sure. Bird keeper. Uh, we need another Inteleon. That'd be good. Nope. We got Gallarmine, though, which I will take. Paralyzing Bolt. Now, my opponent can still get lucky, and they can still get the heads on the coin flip, obviously. So we're still not out of the picture yet. I really wanted a Koga them, too, to poison them, so we're gonna have to go with this route. Now we're getting close to KOing them, though. If they actually whip an energy here, we can potentially KO them. That's if we can find our, another Inteleon, though. We can Super Zap Cannon KO them here if they don't get... If, like, if they don't get energy on the other Sloking, I am down to do Super Zap Cannon for the knockout. That's what I'm thinking we can pull off. If they whip an energy on their Sloking, though. They are item locked. And before they have their second Malolana, that they just happen to draw nice and raw. We'll see, though. But yeah, we need another Inteleon. No, they got the energy. Dang it. So taking them out Super Zap Cannon is not as good now. If they do get the attack, they flip heads, we'll Bird Keeper again. Yeah, we'll just Bird Keeper. We didn't watch out though, we might run out of Bird Keepers. They had a third boss? Bro, what? Alright, well they're at a boss now. And they flip tails, alright, nice. Problem is, now this guy can get knocked out, which I guess we'll have to... Nice, there we go. We'll have to submit to the Intellion getting KO'd here. I mean, we could take the Super Zap Cannon KO, though. I'm fine with just keep doing... I'm fine with just going Paralyzing Bolt, though, you know? I don't know. I'm down to take the Knockout now. I am down to take the KO here. But we have to waste our Bird Keeper to do it, which I'm not sure I'm down to do. We kind of need the Bird Keepers. I think for now, we have to just keep doing Paralyzing Bolt. And just pray they don't attack me. If they knock this out, you know, we're getting closer to stamping them. Stamp's still in the deck, so it's not that bad. They got 130 HP, so we can uh, keep doing them next turn. This is why I wish I had the Koga on them. The poison damage would have made it a lot easier to kill. I am scared of that second Malolana. I They definitely play two. Nice. I think that's a knockout, right? No, we're 10 damage short. Well, that's fine. Because even if, well, we can waste our Koga here to knock him out. Is that ever worth it? <laughs> I mean, I want to keep the item lock up, you know? But we kind of need the Koga for next turn. We can just kill with Inteleon next turn, though. And then boss, whatever they do. Okay, that's fine. 
They could also flip tails. Yeah, we could just knock on the Italian next turn. I'm fine with that. Let's just go for it. I want to, yeah. I don't want to waste my Koga. If we had another, uh, if we had another Team Yellhorn here or a second Koga or a Drizzile, I would have went for the Koga. But because we don't, I don't want to waste my Koga. I want to save it for the second Slow King. So we're not going to play it. Because all we got to do is take the Slow King out. And then we just got to win the game by not going to have the last Slow King. They do get the knockout here. So we're going to trade prize for prize. Awkward, but it's all good. If they got Tails, that would have been so good. But it's fine. We could actually we could go Mew here and then side power. Yeah, we can go Mew actually. No, we need to keep the item lock up. I want to Marnie them too. Like we just gotta keep doing item lock here. We have Bird Keeper in hand, so it's fine. Um there's Marnie. So we can go Marnie item lock. So let's just knock out the Slow King first. They're probably gonna promote Mew or Zigzagoon or well Guru wouldn't work. Probably just Goon. There's Cape, that's good. Damp is good too. Second Italian, okay. All right, let's see what they do here. What do they promote? Goon? Okay. We can kill the goon. Seems good. Go kill goon. Go cape. There's no basic... There's one in the discard. A bunch of other Vigavolt. Put energy on it. We could go... Stamp the four is the same thing as doing Marnie. We can keep the hand, too. We'll go stamp the four knockout. Yeah, that's fine. This is the exact same thing as doing Marnie, pretty much. And we gotta hope they just drop a bunch of items. Okay, that's fine. Let's hold the hand, knock them out. All right, cool. See you later, Goon. And actually, we could just win next turn by coming to Dene. Oh, no, you know what? Then we should have saved the energy. Oh, I kind of misplayed. We actually could have just won the game if we held the energy. I didn't see that play for some dumb reason. Oh, no. I don't think it's gonna backfire, but that could backfire. I didn't see... I just gotta hope Paralyzing Bolt comes in clutch and doesn't give him any big, big cards. Yeah, I, I, could, I literally had game next turn if I didn't attach the energy. Oops. I didn't see the play. But in my head, I was trying to do the thing. Well, I marnied them into... I stamped them into the Slow King anyways. And the Marnie! Okay, great. So we wouldn't have won in the game because they marnied me. Nice. I marnied them into... I stamped them into a busted hand. Oh, no. Oh, this is bad. No, dude. Don't let it end like this. What the heck? No, dude, we might actually lose. This might be game over, guys. It's not looking good. This is not looking good. Maybe I should have just Marnie them instead of stamping them. We could target the Mew, but it's not going to win us the game. We just hit the active. We'll have to, we'll have to sacrifice Mew. This is, I mean, okay. If we can still go... We can still win next turn, to be fair, with a Super Zap Cannon. That's like... Yeah, we can still win with Super Zap Cannon, technically. If we can find an energy. Oh, we need a pivot, though. Only... Okay, we can still Drizzle. Okay, we can still win this. It's not over yet. It's very close, though. If only they didn't Marnie me into such an unplayable hand. That's the problem. I should... Now I wish I went Marnie, but I wanted to save the Bird Keeper and the, bot and the Koga I had in my hand. This is really bad. This is not what we want to see. We're in a lot of trouble right now. The Galar Mine screws us over pretty badly because it means we can't use... We can't retreat the Inteleon and pop the Coco. So even if we draw something here, we can't do that. We can't go Snorlax. So we have to give up two prizes. This is really bad. We got just super unlucky. Again, if we draw a, like a Scuba Net or something, we can win the game. This game is still winnable. I think we can still do Paralyzing Bulk because it can't one-shot me with Max Toxify. Oh man, this is bad. This is so bad. We might... I think we... I think we're gonna lose. My opponent marnied me into a bad hand. I think this is game over. Unless we draw something here. Come on. There we go. We got a Drizzle. That's good. But it's not enough. So we can Bird Keeper into the energy and win the game. Maybe. If we get... if Like, we have to get energy off the Bird Keeper to win. How much energy do we have left? We have four energy in the deck. That's very low chances. Four out of 21 cards. But they can't win if we do that. We could also... I think it has to be the Bird Keeper. We can still Bird Keeper Paralyzing Bolt. Like, it's not that bad either. They can't one-shot Vika Bolt. Not really that bad. They can't one-shot me yet. I mean, they might... Oh, they can one-shot me next turn, though, potentially. 
This is bad. I mean, if we just draw energy, we win the game. So we just got to pray we draw the energy here. It's our last ditch effort. I also hope they don't have another Malana. Come on, energy one time for the game. Let's go! Oh my god, what a match. What a game. Oh my gosh, that was way too close for comfort. But now I am glad I put the energy on the other Vigavol because it actually paid off in the end. So, there we go. That'll be it for the video, guys, on the Vikavolt Intellion deck. As you guys can see, the deck has a lot of spice to it. Definitely more on the rogue side of things, but it is a lot of fun to play to just troll your opponent. Um, one thing I would maybe try to fit in this deck, if you can find room, which good luck finding room in this deck, I'm telling you right now. But I wouldn't mind maybe throwing in a few Crushing Hammers. As much as I hate that card, Crushing Hammer would be good in this deck. However, I honestly don't know what you would put in place of Crushing Hammer. There's really not that many good inclusions in the deck to play for Crushing Hammer. So I don't know if you can play the Crushing Hammer, to be honest, but if you can find root for Hammer, definitely wouldn't be a bad thing. Energy Spinner would go a long way, too. Having a way to, having like a Drizzle find an energy could honestly be a big inclusion, too. So Energy Spinner could definitely be a good inclusion. Um, that'll be it for the video, guys, on the Vigavolt Evil Item Lock Deck. If you guys enjoyed the video, uh, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, sub, help me on the road to reaching 18,000 subs. Check out Car Cavern down below. Use code LDF if you get any codes. Check out my Twitch, my Twitter, my Patreon. I'm going to be trying to go, I'm going back to Twitch really, really soon. Um, and I'm trying to, I'm going to stream as much as I can. I'm trying to get partner on Twitch. So, um, follow my Twitch if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. Peace out.